Welcome to our demonstration of the new Auto Deploy Stateful Install Mode available in VMware vSphere version 5.1. Note, this video shows how to enable Auto Deploy Stateful Installs in an environment that is already configured to use Auto Deploy. This video does not go over the steps to configure the DHCP scope options, the TFTP boot directory, or enable the Auto Deploy server. For information on how to configure these components, refer to the Auto Deploy Stateless Mode video. Here, we are using an existing two-host cluster. We will add a third host, 03A, using auto-deploy stateful install. First, we will configure the host profile called HP stateful install. To enable stateful install mode in the host profile, edit the host profile. In the Advanced Configuration Settings section, select the System Image Cache Configuration and enable stateful installs on the host. On enabling the stateful installs, we get the options to specify which disk to use and whether to overwrite any existing VMFS volumes. Here we will use the first local disk available from the MPT SAS driver, and we will not overwrite any existing VMFS volumes. Next, we will configure the rules on the auto-deploy server to assign this host profile when new hosts boot using auto-deploy. Here we see the rules defined on the server. The rule called Assign Stateful Install will assign the host profile HP Stateful Install to all hosts that boot using auto-deploy. The third step is to configure the BIOS boot order. With auto-deploy Stateful Install, we need to configure the host to boot from the local disk first and the network second. This is a key step when enabling Stateful Installs. New hosts that do not have an existing disk image will not be able to boot from the local disk and these BIOS settings allow the host to fall back to booting over the network, where we will use auto-deploy to provision the ESXi software to the boot disk. Once the ESXi software has been provisioned and the image saved to the boot disk, all the future boots will take place from the boot disk. We are now ready to deploy a new host. On powering on the host, it performs a network boot and contacts the auto-deploy server, which will install the ESXi software and configure the host. Once the host has been provisioned, it will automatically be added to vCenter and placed into maintenance mode. Now, we need to manually apply the host profile by remediating the host. The first time we apply the host profile, we may need to provide IP addresses and other host-specific information. With the required information provided, we are now ready to apply the host profile. We can monitor the progress of the host remediation by watching the Recent Task column on the upper right-hand corner. With the remediation complete, the ESXi image has now been saved to the local boot disk, and the IP addresses and other host-specific settings have been applied. A reboot is now required to switch the host from running in a stateless mode to running off the local disk boot. We will now reboot the host. On reboot, the host switches from running in a stateless mode to running off the local boot disk. After the reboot, the host automatically reconnects to vCenter. Depending on your host configuration, you may need to perform one last remediation on the host to finish configuration. Notice that the host-specific information we entered before is remembered, so we do not have to enter it again. The host is now fully configured and can be taken out of maintenance mode and is ready to host VMs. Host 03A is now provisioned and no longer has any dependency on the auto-deploy infrastructure. All future boots will now take place from the local boot disk. Stateful install simplifies host provisioning by leveraging auto-deploy to install and configure new ESXi hosts without the need for any custom scripting. This concludes the demonstration of the new stateful install mode introduced with VMware vSphere 5.1. Thank you.